Hello, friendos! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, where today we're going through more of uh, the Aegon Wastes. Um, just a heads up, might be a little sporadic in the episodes uh, coming up, because uh, we just had a new addition to the family. Uh, not my kid! I do not have a girlfriend and don't have a wife. And... I'm kind of sad. Anyway, so, basically what's going on is I've got a new nephew, and I'm not going to say, say much more than that, because protecting the innocent and, well, the quote-unquote innocent. <laughs> Nobody's innocent, don't lie to me. But, anyway... Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're dealing with a newborn in the family, and because they live so close, we are basically their line of help. Oh, boy. I'm not gonna like this, am I? This is the crashed frigate, I'm pretty sure. GFS tier. Wait. Wall fashioned from the wreckage of the space pirate vessel shot down by the... Okay. I, th I thought it was like the tier that, that that was... Okay. Yeah. I'm retarded sometimes. Ah, f Fuck. Did that kill them all? <clears throat> I had a feeling not. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> ah! There's one down. You thought you had me? Eat a big fat chode. Wait, aren't chodes small? I think chodes are small. So, eating a big fat one would be the exact opposite. Of a chode. Uh, damn you, English language! And your weird names for everything. I guess it's more societal than anything else. What is going on here? Oh, can I get through this with, uh, yep, yes, I can. Awesome. Where does this go? Oh, it goes into the command center. Did I just infiltrate the command center? Oh, they're they're going into the dark world. Ouch. Uh, get through there. Jeez. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, did he just dodge my missile? Uh, did the rolling help you there, bud? Uh, 
Ooh, we get space pirate lore. The rift control portal, or the rift portal, has been opened. The artifact weapon, dubbed the Dark Beam by Science Team, provides the energy needed to open the portal. Although for a limited time, we've spent expeditions, we've sent expeditions through the portal, and they have returned with incredible news. The portal leads to a parallel version of Aether. This dark Aether has suffered a global calamity turning it into a toxic wasteland. It is the homeworld of the shadowy creatures who have been raiding our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is the prime location of Phazon in this sector. Extract extraction plans are being prepared. We will not be denied. Uh, I was thinking we were going to have some more cool shit. Come on. The rift portal is inactive. Well, damn. New lore. Intelligence reports on the indigenous population of Aether. Alright. What about them? Are in error. Planet is not at peace. This planet is not at peace. Nor are the inhabitants docile. Evidence of a class 4 conflict is present here. Though hostilities are at minimal level, now our territory has suffered several raids by a strange type of shadowy creature. These raids have caused considerable damage, and we have requested more combat troops in response. How? How did you get communications out? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely curious about that. Science teams have detected the presence of Phazon in the Dasho system four cycles ago. High Command authorized the deployment of our team shortly thereafter. Our orders are to establish a base on planet Aether and evaluate local Phazon resources. Because this world lies on the periphery of the galaxy, of the Galactic Federation territory, we are following stealth protocols at the highest level. A cadre of elite commandos have been dispatched to provide security for our force as well. This operation is now underway. They sound like a militant group, to be honest. More than pirates. They're very organized. Pirates don't organize like this. A spatial no anomaly has been found within our base. We believe this rift in space-time leads to a parallel dimension of some type, but we <clears throat> but have unable to interact with it thus far. A strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well, and maybe a weapon or generator of some kind. Perhaps it is the key to accessing the anomaly. High Command is eager for reports on the relic. A new weapon for our arsenal is always welcome. Nice. And, yeah, this is research on just Aether. Planet is unstable due to transdimensional flux. Warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Finally, extreme climate shifts have left most of Aether uninhabitable. Poor, poor guys. Like, their planet gets hit by a meteorite. It splits the planet in two. And now they're... Now they're, you know, on the brink of extinction. Can't determine the origin of Aether's dark twin. Contains high levels of Phazon ore. Native bioforms attack on site. Well, it's good to know that. What is this? Power relays connected to elevator unit online. Okay. Is there anything else that I can gain from here? Oh, here we go. Phazon extraction raids are underway on Dark Aether. The toxicity of the atmosphere has taken a toll, taken a toll on our work for uh, on our workforce, as have the hostile natives of that world. Science team is preparing survival gear to protect our work teams 
and we have increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. Well, if I have something to say about it, it will. Hope you weren't ready for me. Alright, did I get everything? I feel like I would be missing something. Okay, there's somebody up there. Where's that elevator? Oh, it's right here. Going up. Oh, I think he's in that room. Ha! Okay, it's just a normal pirate trooper. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, yeah. I hear something, but I don't know what it is. Dude, really? You dumbass. Wow, is this guy not very smart? Uh, well, I'm not very smart either. Oh, what? What? S Dark Samus, huh? Well, that looks like I'm not going that way for a while. Let's see if I can't get the lore out of this. I can! Sweet! Awesome. Another disaster. The transport bringing our reinforcements and supplies have been shot down. It was engaged in orbit by a Federation vessel, vessel which has landed near the alien temple. It's only a matter of time before the Marines attack. Survivors from our ship have made their way to our base. Here we shall make our stand. Another enemy. First the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, and now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Perhaps fate will smile upon us, before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. Gosh, it's kind of dark. Man, I need to lighten up. Alright, got that, so... What? That was weird. Alrighty. Blast door control security bypassed. Woo! Sweet. And he is gone with whatever that was. Oh, I can't jump through it? That's sad. And down we go. Oh, it's a different door. I thought it was the same door. Whoa! What is this called? Humility Class Turret. Okay. The Space Pirates copied captured Federation Growler turrets, but found the cannon unit inadequate. They replaced the Growler's weapon with a powerful... Galvantic Accelerator Cannon. The Humility Turret packs a strong punch, but retains the grounder, the Growler's system weakness. Fast targets can evade the crude targeting system, and the armor can't take much punishment. Good to know. Well, it, can't, it can only take one missile. Wait, what's this? You mean to tell me I can't get information on this thing, but I can get information on everything else? Mm. Uh, that's a terribly lax...
Whoa! Wait, what? Oh. Dead. Is that a regular Metroid? Oh, poor guy. Dude, can I... I can't blow up your tank. I feel bad for you. I have a feeling I'm going to have to take you on here shortly anyway. Well, I can't get through the dark door. Oh, now you give me the battle music. Uh, fuck off with that. Finally, I get it. Oh, they're Talon Metroids. They're not just regular Metroids, so... Space pirates harvest and enslave Metroids for use on their operations. Talon Metroid will latch onto its prey with powerful pincers, then proceed to drain the life energy. This causes the creature to grow in size and mass. The creature are vulnerable to chilling effects of dark energy and can be detached by entering morph ball mode and deploying a bomb. Well, I knew that. Like, I know how dangerous these damn things are. But, at the same time, you know, it shouldn't be treated like this. Samus Aran, the accursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. She does not seek out our seek our destruction, but our Phazon. With each raid, she steals Phazon ore, only killing those who attempt to deny her. What she needs it for, we do not know. Though science team suspects she's required it, she requires it to power her new armor suit. Dark in color, it is equipped with strange new weapons. The troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. Like what, does Samus just f a fucking hunt space pirates and only spe- Whoa, hello! I almost walked right into that. Well, I did walk right into that. Is this... This almost seems Luminoth in... in, uh, uh, design. Gotta be careful. Oh boy. Gotta be careful. Is what I said. And then all of a sudden, pirate arrow troopers. Oh, I hope this doesn't, you know, raise these things. Oh yeah, that's right. This is one of the more annoying puzzles of this game. I think. Can't remember. There's a lot I don't remember about these games. I mentioned that last time. Okay. So, I get it. I need to drop all three of them there, drop two of them there, and drop one there. Gotcha. Wait, isn't there another one somewhere? I'm going to drop all three here and, and go that way.
There's one down. There's two down, and all three down. So then I just want to lower two. And then here I'll lower one. Nice. And of course, there's my baby. Three energy tanks, babe. Babe, you all aren't my lover. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. I never understood that song. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends, right? And then they're like, make it last forever, friendship never ends, right? So, are you tr telling the guy to sleep with your friends? Or are you telling the guy to... To, you know... Be... You know, be your friend's friend. There's a lot about pop music I never understood. And you know, we're just... You know, we're just talking about that one instance. All right. All right, before we go into this tunnel, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications no matter what we do. And. Uh, on the left is yesterday's video. Or no, on the left is a video that's recommended for you. On the right is yesterday's video, so give that a like, comment, and a share so we can continue to grow this fine channel. Or whatever you think this channel is. It's up to you. Um, yeah, we're still moving through the Aegon Wastes uh, in the pirate area now. I, 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 uh, I feel like this is a much slower game than Metroid Prime 1. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I feel like we're not making as much progress like we did with number 1. But then again, it only took us 8 hours to beat it. So, eh. It's whatever. Alright guys, until next time, you stay frosty.